A heavy wet snow caused many limbs to come crashing down. You bet, and uh, we have some team coverage on what happened this afternoon. First, let's go to Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Pierce Gorlett. He's in the newsroom. Pierce. Katrina and Rod, today there were plenty of trees on the ground, but today I got the chance to talk with one uh, Lincolnite who had a tree fall onto his patio cover. The heavy snow started falling on Sunday morning and caused more than 7,000 Lincoln Electric customers to lose power, including a lot of traffic lights that went out. Trees and power lines snapped and fell onto the ground under the weight of the heavy snow, and for Bill Ainsley, his tree fell onto his patio cover. Well, I was sitting eating breakfast this morning, heard a loud crash, saw a bunch of snow falling by my kitchen window, came outside and looked, and this big tree limb had come down and partially caved in my back patio cover. And then another one came down, did a number on the clothesline, and some more have come down and uh, gotten into my neighbor's yard, too. When something like this occurs, it, of course, causes a lot of fear in a homeowner. It shook up, of course, because uh, you took like a big crash, and then suddenly you see snow pouring by your kitchen window, and then notice that you're that your back patio cover is partially caved in and you wonder, is the house going to fall in next? What's going to happen? So I guess I lucked out in that regard. Bill says although the tree fell and caused damage, he didn't lose power like many others and he is happy about that. He can't otherwise, other than to have a bunch of food on hand that you don't need to cook because I just hope that the power stays on. And the, thus the heat stays on. I turned up the heat so if the, if the power goes off and the heat goes off, at least the house will be warmer for a while before it cools off. Patrick Ducey had to shovel heavy snow for the first time this year and is not surprised to hear about the power outages. Well, uh, it's not too bad. So far we haven't had any power loss where I'm at. Uh, my brother up in Omaha said he's had his power flicker a couple times. Uh, but yeah, that it's to be expected. I mean, you got a lot of ice and, and uh, heavy branches and it takes the power lines down. So. As of right now, LES is working on as many restores as they can throughout the whole entire night around the city of Lincoln. And they said as soon as they fix one outage, more outages are called in. So be, be careful. All right, thanks, Pierce.